Well, today I'm going to cold start the 88 Oldsmobile, which hasn't been running since November of last year. I'm going to do this uh, very quickly before Jay, the stumbling alcoholic, decides to come over here on that cursed snowmobile bubble and become such a bad influence on me and probably convince me to drink. And so on this glorious Valentine's Day, if you are with your significant other, you are probably having a great day uh, enjoying a romantic candlelight dinner. If you are like me, you are probably sitting here watching this stupid video. So today we are going to start the Olds. It has been sitting in the sunlight here for uh, about 20 minutes. I put a Delco battery in it and, oh God, he's on his way. Oh, I can smell the two stroke oil from here. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and see if I can find it. Okay, I have the keys. I'm gonna go ahead and try this unit in real time here. Oh, it's freezing in here. All right, lads and lassies. Ooh. Oh, you know she's cold and you got frost on your locks on there. Ooh, that's tight. Won't even be Okay. Come on, old girl. You know what? Seeing how it's been sitting for so long, I'm going to prime the uh, fuel system there. It's freezing out here. I do not belong in this part of the country. Actually, I don't belong in this country at all. They allow in 50,000 Syrian refugees. I wonder if the United States would let me in. Oh, probably not. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start this. I hear the fuel pump. Wow. That actually started a lot quicker and faster than what I had first anticipated. I honestly thought it was going to give me some grief here, lads and lassies. Oh, please. Oh, uh, actually started quite well there. Wow. Uh, a little bit of uh, exhaust smoke. Uh, a little car duck from uh, being parked for so long. But you know what? Uh, it's a runner. And uh, yeah, it's firing quite well here. No exhaust on it, but you know what? That does not matter. That doesn't deter us from running it. That just uh, makes me want to drive it even more. Although a six cylinder fuel injector didn't really sound good with no exhaust on it, in all honesty. But hey, that don't matter. We won't get into that today. Uh, yeah, a little bit of. Condensation, I guess. I don't know. It's white smoke. Almost looks like steam coming up. Probably from everything warming up under the hood there. I don't know. Well, it might just be car exhaust too from the leak. Anyway, that don't matter either. That alternator is bad. It always was. The charge light is out. So, uh, yeah. I guess uh, we're just going to let this old girl run for a bit and uh, Well, uh, that's it for this vehicle here, lads. Uh, very, very, very smooth running um, you know, V6. Yeah, yeah, it started actually very well. I honestly did not anticipate it to start that well, so uh, I'm very happy with it. Um, I'm not going to run it too long. I have a full tank in it, of course, which, uh, <coughs> by the way, uh, does help with uh, cold winter starting. I got a full tank in it. Uh, and it does uh, help with the uh, cold starting in the winter, so you know, at least have it above half if you are driving a winter vehicle. Always good to keep it above half. I think a lot of you guys know that, but if you didn't, you know, it's always a good idea if you're experiencing minus 20 weather like I do. It's usually a good idea to keep your fuel tank above half and all your fluids topped up as well. Anyway, that's going to be a useless bit of information because. Uh, Honestly, I don't need that in Florida if I ever make it there. Well, at least I can take that, I guess. Have a good one, guys.